definition of love is all about my journey to Turkey. When I went to Turkey, I was really inspired by the culture and the way that country gets together the old and the new and the timeless and the contemporary. And that's what you see in my entire collection, that we've used the embroidery, which is very, very timeless, the lehengas, which are very, very timeless. And at the same time, all the blouses and the silhouettes are used with the origami of the fabric. And uh, they have very sensuous shoulders. And uh, yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the bustier and the skirts? Yes, so that's what I said that we've, uh, this particular outfit when I thought, I just visualized that uh, I would have Kangna wear this because of the way she is and the way she carries things. I thought that this was a complete blend. And uh, the skirt, again, when I mentioned that it has a lot of embroidery and geometry, which is inspired from the Ottoman architecture. And then the, again, the blouse is something which I thought that the sensuous shoulder will really bring out the beauty. Kangana, can you just quickly tell us about your experience working at Lakme Fashion Week again? Quickly, you don't want me to talk much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll say quickly. Uh, uh, so for me, like I, I'm here almost every year and uh, for me it is a delight to be doing something so different than my usual daily routine and to be also getting to meet very new, very fresh talents and very fresh minds. Like this is probably like the most unusual lehenga I've ever seen uh, with a very sensuous top and, uh, and uh, you know lehenga, it has the best of traditions and it has best of uh, contemporary. So I'm very happy to be here, thank you. Um, you're back at Lakme Fashion Week, how does that feel for you? Yeah, uh, it's, um, it's wonderful and you know, like uh, Lakme is completing its 20th year and uh, I must say it's not easy to build such a huge brand and to, uh, to do consistently for years and years, you've just not you don't have to be just hardworking, but you've got to have the vision, the consistency and competence to, to you know, keep it going. And it's also getting better and better every year. So I am very um, impressed and I think it's commendable how many new designers they have brought to the front, uh, you know, to the, to the mainstream and, uh, and how much uh, exposure the ones who are doing well, you know, and every year they're reinventing themselves, they get is, is amazing. Do you have a favorite outfit other than the one you're wearing? Um, I've not seen all the shows, but in, in from um, the from the from Disha show, yes, yeah, uh, there is a sari with uh, with a very unusual neck. Yeah, uh, it's it's not an exactly an altar. That's the thing about her. She's like you know your um, like a, your, the kind of top you would wear on jeans. You know, uh, mm -hmm. it's like that. So I would maybe get it for <laughs> some promotional work. We know you have favorites beyond the one you're wearing. Perfect, so I'm going to open the floor for questions. If anyone has something to ask Kangana and Disha about the collection and the show today. So the fabrics we've used are the raw silks, the organza sheer nets, and uh, the dupion silks. See, every, um, every show is different, every outfit is different, and every designer has a different theme. Uh, this one was very romantic in its nature, and the bride is, um, you know, like a, um, and she's not a, um, she's not a bride who's nervous or who's uh, absolutely pensive. You know, she's a bride who's having fun. You know, that's, that's what the whole, uh, the spirit of celebration conveys, and uh, Disha, is someone who wants their brides to like have the maximum fun in their weddings and not just the guests. So I think that it, it was very spontaneous. We didn't plan it and yeah. that's, <laughs> that's, how, that, that's what I felt like doing in this comment. Um, what's your style? Both fashion and um, well, I think it depends on the events. If it is a, a meeting, a, a, a script session or something, I like to wear your you know, Indian mull, exactly what you're wearing. You know, like this will be my go-to dress. Very Indian, but yet very uh, soothing and relaxing. Um, but if I'm with friends and with my siblings, we're going out for shopping and just chilling, then of course I would go with something more uh, Western, 
you know, like long dresses and, uh, th but I, I do all kind of things. I, I don't restrict myself to, um, to one silhouette. So Disha, you have found yourself a perfect muse who not only embodies your collection in her personal life, but also on the ramp. So thank you so much for bringing this beautiful collaboration to us. Thank you for having and us. And we wish you both the very best. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you Yes. Oh yeah, totally. Um, there are many. Um, no, I'll answer that. There, there are many who um, I, I feel have inspired the generations of people, um, and I think Rekha Ji is one of them. And um, other really fashionable person I feel is um, in today's times. I think Mr. Bachchan or Ranveer Singh is is very fashionable. Um, also, I think um, somebody like Sonam Kapoor is, you know, somebody who's always, um, but actually, if you go to see, everyone is fashionable these days uh, because they're so conscious of their dressing styles. And 10 years ago or 12 years, when we started out, then they were more this this question would have not had such an elaborate answer because there were very few who were worried about uh, what to wear. But now it's become very, which is good. Yeah, why should you dress badly? You have no reason. Like life is so short. I Thank you so much. Sorry, yeah, yeah, please. Um, um, well. I, I don't know yet, but I think I will definitely not go red. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you.